Hey, we're here to talk about powder sugar in a hive, and it's the middle of July, and normally we have our honey supers on, but I have a, a swarm that I've been building up. So, we'll go ahead and oh, first we'll put in the observation board, and you can put it in dry. You don't have to use any oil or anything to, um, oh, if your cakes become loose, you can use your hive tool to tighten them up. Anyway, give it a little flex so I'll miss the middle bar and the feet on the other end. And now they're ready for smoking. I could take that off later and put a little piece of paper in there. Okay, the um, sugar I like to use is cane sugar because with all the GMOs that they're talking about with beet sugar, um, I just thought that was a safer sugar to use. And we're doing our hives a little bit differently now. Instead of splitting them and starting at the bottom, we're now starting at the top. So I put something down like a, a lid or an extra lid and you can use a sifter, like you, you can find these at thrift stores, or you could put together a screen, use just window aluminum screen. This used to be one of our old bottom boards. And you just put it right on t over the frame. And then you take about a cup of sugar. This is something that you can use as much as you want. And um, let's see, I wasn't prepared. I don't have my brush. Hold on one second. Most important feature or piece of equipment is the brush. And you brush your powdered sugar through the window screen covering all the top bars. And this actually takes the place of sifting. Randy Oliver came up with this. He was using one eighth screen, but we found window screen worked a lot better. And then you brush the powdered sugar in between the bees in between the frames over the bees. And the sugar actually, it's a mechanical action, it actually gets on the Varroa mites feet. And the, their feet are like little sticky pads and it makes them so they can't grip onto the bees. So the powder sugar sips through to the bottom and this is why we're doing it this way. Okay, I'm putting it on a board so it'll collect any powdered sugar that sits through. You see we have quite a bit of accumulation of sugar from the top. And ideally it would go down and you can see the bees are somewhat covered. But just as a, uh, and Randy Oliver does advocate using, keeping your brood boxes together. But if you have an infestation, this would be a surefire way, fire way to knock down your mite population. So we're going to put that on. Another cup of sugar. When, when you do heat both hides together, both um, supers together, you would use two cups of sugar. You want a lot of sugar to fall. In fact, um, if you're not getting a good covering of sugar on your observation board, you're not using enough. And this has no effect when there's a honey flow on, you can actually see the bees take the little bits of sugar away. I think I got, actually got a video of that. So, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and brush the powdered sugar in between the frames. This is a colony I'm building up from a small swarm. 
we're not really, I'm not gonna, we're not going to be harvesting any honey from this. Okay, and then I'm simply going to put it back together. And we're going to wait 10 minutes. Okay, um, it's been about 20 minutes. We're going to take a look and see what the powdered sugar looks like. You can use your hive tool to snag the bottom board. And pull it out. Usually I take it someplace farther away from the bees because the bees are very attracted to it. But you can see we have mites right there in the powdered sugar. I can see I'm pointing with my hive tool. You can see them right under, mostly in this area here. Here's another one over here. And see some where some pollen got knocked off. And I would say, actually, this is not a lot of mites. When you have a lot of mites, they're quite in a little area you see, you know, maybe 20, 30 of them. I mean, it's definitely black with mites. And this is after just 20 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to uh, clean the powdered sugar off the board. And here I have a plastic bag set up. And I'm just taking this powdered sugar. Let's see, I had a scraper. Oh, here we go. You can use, and this is especially handy when you have oil on your board, but you can use a scraper from like Home Depot. They cost under $2. This one's ancient. Still works. And, or you could use your brush and sweep it off. You can't do that with the powder, with the oil. So now if you wanted to do a count or just track more mice, you're going to put this board in after covering it with oil. Okay, so this is just canola oil. And I'm going to smear it on. You could use a brush. I used to keep my canola oil in a coffee can, but after a month or so, it started smelling rancid. So now I just keep it in the house and fill up the squirter and I use a rag. I always mark which hive gets what board because a lot of times I take them away and stack them, stack them out of, out in, of the sun. And um, because our boards are custom made and the sizes of those slots all vary, if you have more than one, it's really nice to know which board goes to which hive without having to try each one. So on the powdered sugar, I actually store, these are very attracted to it, so usually keep them covered. Because the mites don't die, they're in the powdered sugar, and right now they're not able to jump on the bees. And I can keep it in a new box with a cover, twisted, and until my next powdered sugar. Um, we're talking about reusing it. We haven't yet. Right now, I feed it to the worms, and a lot of times the ants will take away the varroa mites.